for those of you watching in over the last 30, 40 minutes, a real tongue lashing by Judge James Lynn. He called Jussie Smollett arrogant, selfish, narcissistic, and that he craved attention. He feels that is why he carried this all out and staged this hoax. Uh, the defense had asked for a term of imprisonment, uh, or rather the defense had asked for Smollett uh, to just seek probation and community service, but the state did want some term of imprisonment and that restitution to be paid to CPD, which is what we saw happen. Here's just a quick recap of the day for you. First video of Jussie Smollett entering the courthouse here today shortly after 1 o'clock. With him, his grandmother, other friends and family. The judge first in court denied the defense's motion for a new trial. Then we heard from several character witnesses here for Jussie Smollett, including a former music director from the TV show Empire, his brother and grandmother, who both asked for mercy. Jesse is loved and respected by all who know him. And I ask you, the judge, not to send him to prison. If you do, send me along with him. He has always been a loyal, loving, and creative human being. He is not a threat to the people of Illinois. All of this, of course, stems back to January 2019 when Smollett told police two men in ski masks yelled racial and homophobic slurs at him, threw bleach on him, and placed a rope around his neck near his Streeterville home. All along, police believed that Smollett staged this attack on himself, paying two brothers to carry this all out, but Smollett, and to the very end, denying all of this. The charges were initially dropped, but then refiled after a special prosecutor indicted him. And after listening to both sides, Judge James Lynn did hand down this sentence today. Again, 150 days, five months in the Cook County Jail. That will start immediately. Our Mike Lowe is also here in the courthouse, and right now we are just waiting for uh, attorneys and other family and friends to come down and give reaction to this sentence. Mike Lowe will have that for you later tonight at 9 and 10. That is the very latest here at the Layton Criminal Courthouse. Uh, Dina and Ray, back to you in the studio. Uh, Dana, he, uh, the judge there, really yes. went through the case explaining how uh, the arrival of a special prosecutor was brought into the proceedings there. And uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, how Smollett has uh, carried himself throughout this sentencing phase. He made the decision at one point there not to take the stand and, uh, and ask for leniency from the judge. But there, when, uh, when the justice was meted out, you certainly heard from him then at that point. You did, and there was really uh, just this uh, verbal just gasp, I think, when the judge did hand out that sentence. Many people thought that because he has a lack of a criminal history uh, and that this was a nonviolent offense, that he would just get probation or a very short amount of jail time, possibly 30 days. But uh, five months, 150 days for, for an actor, someone of, of his uh, stature, uh, you know, that, that's quite a bit of time to serve, and I think uh, the judge really wanted to uh, make a point here today and he really had you know a lot to say to, to Jesse Smollett just how disappointing uh, this whole thing was I think for many in the city of Chicago especially the Chicago Police Department all of the hours over a thousand hours of police overtime put into this case uh, so depending on I think who you you talk to of course his family upset and he's upset I think about about what took place here uh, a few moments ago but there are many I feel uh, who think that this this was a fair uh, sentence here today Dana, I'm curious about Jesse Smollett during the sentencing today. Very stoic while the judge was talking and then really lost it after the sentence came down. What about during the day? Well, during the course of the day when we heard from these character witnesses, um, he did have his mask on, so of course hard to read all of his facial expressions, but he did tear up when his grandmother spoke. She earlier today said, Judge, if you're going to sentence him to prison, uh, send me along with him. Uh, so very stoic throughout the day, but again, as you mentioned, once the sentence handed down, I think that he was pretty, pretty shocked. All right, Dana Rebick, you and Mike Lowe are there at the uh, Layton Criminal Courthouse. We will check back with you again uh, for more reaction. Let us know when his attorneys come in uh, or any other of the witnesses want to come forward. Right now, though, we want